What is up legends? This is a little bit of an impromptu video. I was walking around Dream Car Garage's dealership and we just finished filming Emrick's surprise with the GT3. There's actually a black one which has just shown up outside right there as well. And I was talking to them about this 488 Pista Spider. They think this might be one of the highest spec tailor-made piece of spiders. And so I thought, you know, I find it fascinating to see the specs on these cars and how much these things can cost and how far you can go with these programs, tailor-made, etc. Why not give you guys a little bit of a tour of this piece of the spider, which has a hundred and twenty thousand euros worth of options on it. So walk around, look at the various options and just talk you through it. Now, the car is for sale and it is brand new, so we can't drive it, but we can talk about the spec. And to do that, little tip, first thing you wanna do if you're gonna look at the spec of a car in the Pista is lift the front hood, where here you have a personalization specification for your Pista Spider. And this gives you kind of all of the options that you have on the car. And as you can tell, it is completely, completely full. So this is the main big one, Rosso Angelo. That is the tailor-made triple layer paint that you've got on this Ferrari. And it is absolutely stunning. So really kind of dark, dark red, um, but it's just such a beautiful color and it's got so much depth to it. And that depth, is complemented by these stripes. Now, just to give you an idea, okay, the paint is around 22,000 euros alone as an option, just for the paint. Then having the painted stripes is about another 8,000 because those are in an equally fancy paint. And you need that because the depth you get with the red needs to be kind of followed on to the stripe, I guess. I don't really know. This is what <laughs> I've been told, but it does make sense that if you're gonna have, for example, a 20 grand paint job and then vinyl wrap a stripe onto it, it's not gonna look great because you're gonna get all sorts of different reflections. So if you want a stripe and you want this fancy color, you show yourself on the foot because you're gonna need to spend double on then getting the stripe, basically. But they've gone forward and done that with this. And where obviously the spec gets kind of ludicrously expensive, apart from the paint, is with carbon options. And this one, I've never seen a Pista with this many carbon options. It has every single exterior carbon option. So from the front splitter right here, to these front air vent surrounds, to these little winglets that will pop out right there. It's obviously got the side skirt. It's then got even the door handle, which is actually an aerodynamic design piece which feeds air into this air vent which is also carbon fiber and has popped up on the 488s they weren't on the 458s but with the turbocharged v8 mid-engine um, ferraris now which are the only uh, mid-engine v8 uh, ferraris you have now you need these air vents to feed cool air to the turbos you then got this little carbon square behind your ear while you're driving and yeah all sorts of it just keeps going all over the place and the carbon details so for example this is a pretty simple carbon piece right here but having a kind of surrounded and sculpted carbon piece like these here i mean that is just beautiful craftsmanship and yeah it goes all the way around the rear of the car that is another option of course and the big one is this rear diffuser Rear diffuser is massive and you do not want to have a little bit of a fender bender in this because I cannot imagine it will be cheap to replace. Another option that you can notice on this are the blacked out tailpipe. We've got the parking sensors, the parking camera, which is hidden down here behind the reversing camera, which was obviously made to look like the low visibility light that F1 cars will have flashing in rainy conditions or foggy conditions or whatever. That is the reversing camera on this and yeah then as you go around there are just more and more options everywhere you look the gold matte gold painted wheels the carbon fiber what would you call this wheel cap there's so many specific terms when you're doing a full tour around the car like this you realize that if you forget one of those you're kind of screwed anyways that is in carbon as well. You've then got the black painted calipers carbon ceramic of course standard on the Pista Spider 
And then where it gets really nuts, on the interior is where the spec keeps just getting crazier and crazier. So it's basically all carbon fiber and Alcantara, apart from the steering wheel, which is leather. But you've got a combination of this sand kind of colored Alcantara, which is called Koyo, I think, the, the color. And again, this beautifully sculpted carbon. So look at this door insert right here. It's all one piece of carbon and it's gorgeous. The door handle as well, carbon. It's actually got the JBL sound system, which is, yeah, not great to be honest in these, but it's got it as an option because I guess when you're 120,000 euros deep in options, you might as well go for the sound system as well. It's got these door sills in carbon fiber as well. <laughs> these secondary door sills in carbon fiber. The seats, the back of the seats are fully carbon. I mean, it's just endless. And this, I think, is beautiful. I mean, you're in a convertible car, which could be um, subject to some rainfall, but they've decided to do all of this rear section in the highest class Alcantara with contrast sand, matching sand colored stitching. It's beautiful to behold. You've then got obviously these seats, which I think are some of the most, yeah, best looking, best designed, and kind of, they're, they're also very comfortable seats, the sports bucket seats of any car. These are done in the uh, bitone black and sand color Alcantara with the embossed Cavallino right there. That is another option. This stripe right here, that is another option. The contrast stitching, <laughs> that is another option. All boxes have been ticked. The carpets as well. Normally those would come black. These have been done in the matching. And it, you kind of feel bad standing on them because they're in Alcantara. So yeah, you feel guilty kind of putting your your shoes onto, onto that. Now obviously this whole center console right here is in carbon as well as up here. Um, that's finished in carbon fiber as well. And then you've got this nice touch, the Italian flag on the gear selection sculpture, structure. Reverse auto launch, dual clutch, so you can actually use that button. But yeah, I mean, that is a really nice touch. So that is Ferrari tailor made to be able to have that. One little thing which does bug me is it's not actually color matched to the paint outside, which is, I guess, an extremely pedantic thing to be saying, but yeah. If you're going to have red, having two different reds, I don't know if that's just me, would that bother you as well? Anyways, you've then got the full what's called driver zone in carbon, so that means on the steering wheel, but then around the rev counter, and all around this kind of section where you've got your buttons to control your various screens, which you have available around the rev counter. So one on the left, one on the right. To control the left screen, you use these controls right here. And to control the right screen, you use these right here. This is where you'll have your radio and all sorts of information. More carbon right here. I don't know how they call that, but I'm sure that's probably a pricey option. And the Alcantara continues all the way around onto even the roof. And why don't we close the roof up? If I close the door, right there. Let's see how long this takes. And you're going to see it's a pretty beautiful finish on the removable hardtop roof as well. In it comes. It's not the fastest in the world. There we go. There we go. And then you can, if you so wish, put the rear window down so that you can hear the V8 engine. But all of this is finished in Alcantara. And it is beautiful. Anyways, let's see how it looks at the roof up because you've got the Angelo Rosso, Rosso Angelo paint as well on the roof and it looks just sublime. But yeah, that is kind of just a quick walk around. I don't want this video to last, you know, too long. I just saw the car, I heard about the specs and I was like, I need to share that on, on YouTube because I think it's just beautiful. Let me know if you've ever seen a higher spec piece of spider. This is definitely the highest spec one I've seen and yeah, it is just stunning. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Remember to follow Dream Car Performance if uh, you like this car, want to see more of these types of cars and I'll say that I'll see you very soon. Cheers guys, bye bye.